Food's gonna go bad. Yeah, I do up a list. I'll uh, hit the store uh, before it gets all bought out. Fuck. Can you save it? Uh, no, no way. No, I gotta start over from scratch. I'll call the studio. Phones get back up, see if they can extend my deadline. Ah. What choice do they have? <sighs> you kidding? They could whip up some bad Photoshop poster in an afternoon. They do it all the time. Two big heads. I should have brought it downstairs with me last night. It was just stupid, I guess. Yep. Sweetie, you couldn't exactly know that a tree was going to come flying through the window. Yeah, I'll hit the hardware store, too. Get some plastic sheeting and duct tape and seal this up before it gets dark, you know. Order in some new glass. Oh, you know what? That was your, that was your grandfather's tree, the one he planted. Oh. He used to play in that tree. It's mm. just stuff, though. You know, we're safe. That's all that counts. Holy crap! Billy. Sorry, Ma, but you just gotta... Come, come on. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Come on! Having spoken, the doomsayer departs. Come on. <laughs> How you two always manage to make me laugh. You hmm? have incredibly low standards. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go, uh... See the damage. No. Norton's tree. Oh, yeah? You mean the dead one I've been asking him to take down for three years before it finally blew over, that tree? Really got smushed. You ain't kidding. Look at that. What is it, Daddy? Mist? On the lake? We've had mist on the lake before. Coming off the mountain like that? Two fronts meeting? Left over from the storm, something like that. Sure. Honey, I'm not the weatherman. Why don't you take uh, Billy, uh, get him dressed. I'll take him to town with me. All right. Where are you going? I'm going to go have a little chat with our neighbor about his tree. Hun. Don't worry. I'm not going to punch him in the nose. You know what he's going to say. He's going to say, sue me, which I don't know. Maybe we should. Honey, one property dispute with this guy is enough to last me a lifetime. I'm going to ask for his insurance information. Okay. That's all. Yeah. I guess you've seen the boat house. Yeah, and? Nothing. Just think we should trade insurance info, you know? That's all. Oh, my insurance guy's gonna love me. Oh, shit. 1980. I was gonna bring the station wagon, but I don't know. The weather was so beautiful coming out of New York. I just, you know, top down. I'm sorry, man. I mean it. Sincerely. That's nice of you to say. No, it's, that car was cherry. I, I hate to see it like that. OK, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll find my insurance guy's number. I'll bring it by later. Is that OK? And no problem. So uh, David, you're not. Um, Heading into town today, by any chance, are you? Well, CMP's out, of course. Maybe we'll get our power back. That was some storm, huh? One for the books, yeah. For a moment there last night, I thought we were going to take off and head for odds. WZON is off the air, but Portland is still broadcasting. Daddy, look. Huh. Guys from the base. From up the mountain? Uh-huh. The Arrowhead Project? Well, you're a local. Any idea what they do up there? Missile defense research, you know, I'm sure you've heard the stories. 
I'm sure the woman at the uh, laundromat says that uh, they have a crash flying saucer up there with frozen alien bodies. Right, Miss Edna. Right. Yeah, Miss Tabloid. Uh, I had Bigfoot's baby. Uh, Satan's face appears in oil well fire. You know, real reliable stuff. Maybe their power's out, too. Ah, oh, still no signal. Why don't you go ahead? I'm gonna try Steph on a payphone. Can I go with Mr. Norton, Daddy? Sure, if he promised to hold his hand, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a list. Okay. Hey, meet you guys in there. Hold hands. Hey. Hey, Mr. Drayton. You guys are jammed up. Yeah, well, half the staff didn't show, plus the power's out. Oh, oh. What, no backup generator? Only to keep the food cold, everything else. Welcome to the dark ages and bring your checkbook. Hey, uh, Thursday night, Steph and I want a date night. Babysit? Heck yeah, I'm there. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a storm. Everybody's stocking up. Been like this since we opened. Crap your day, huh? Eh, I was a little pissed off this morning. Morning, Mrs. Carmody. With lines like these, I don't know how good it is, but I guess we'll have to make do. Keep your head down, pal. You know it. Hey, Jim. Your wife should be a doctor. She can make a fortune in Manhattan with his handwriting. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Why don't you get your stuff? I'll meet you at the checkout. Okay, done. Hey, David. Thanks for helping me out today. Are you and Mr. Norton gonna be friends now, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Uh, friends might be stretching it a little. Guess they're not mad at each other anymore. I guess not. Hey, and that's a start, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, the register's down. Uh, the power out is kind of scary. We'll have power up pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> the bus leaves in 30 minutes. We'll make it, okay? You guys get the goodies, I'll wait in line. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's a dollar coming in. Yeah, I need some change on register five. Good morning, Ms. Rapper. Hello, Ms. Rapper. Well, hello to you, Billy Drayton. How'd you hold up in the storm? We had a tree come through the picture window last night, right in my studio. And the boathouse got all smushed. Mr. Norton's tree fell on it. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. How'd you guys make out? Oh, we're fine. It's the listings I'm worried about. At the very least, I'll bet every one of our for sale signs fell over. We had damage at the school, wouldn't you know? That's what we get for not fixing that roof when we should have but with funds being cut every year. You think educating children would be more of a priority in this country, but you'd be wrong. Government's got better things to spend our money on, like corporate handouts and building bonds. sure she's fine. Don't worry, okay? Mind what you're doing, Sally. Oh, come on. We got 10 days leave. Check our papers. Look, I told you all leaves are canceled. I don't know why. I gotta go check the pharmacy out. Three men meet me back at the Jeep in five minutes. It's an order. Shit, man. Another half an hour, we'd have been gone.
Oh, my God. Something in the mist! Something in the mist Dan. took John Lee! Dan, catch your breath. Something in the mist took John Lee. And I, I could hear him screaming. Shut the doors! Shut the doors, Shut my the God! Daddy, I'm scared. Can we go home? Don't go out there. There's something in the mist. It took John Lee. Screw that. I'm getting to my car. Mister, no! cloud the mills down in Rumsford. some kind of chemical explosion has to be what is it what's going on it's death An earthquake. I tell you, the goddamn mills blew up. Is everyone okay? Is, is anyone hurt? Everybody just stay put, okay? Just stay inside the store. I can't. I can't stay here. I gotta get home to my kids. No. No, don't go out there. It's death out there. It's the end of days. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. Please, everybody. Everybody just relax, okay? He's right. Let's just stay cool. Let's just try to figure out what happened. I'm sorry. I, I can't just stay here. I have to get home to my kids. Ma'am, no, you can't go out there. Could be a poisonous gas cloud. Can you hear that man screaming? I agree. Let, let's stay here until we figure it out. You're not listening. I can't stay here. Wanda's looking after little Victor. She's only eight. Sometimes she forgets she's supposed to be watching him, you know? I told them I'd only be gone a few minutes. She's only eight. For their sakes, don't. Oh, is anybody gonna help me? Shh. Won't somebody here see a lady home? You. 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 Hey, ma'am, please. I got my own boy to work. Help you all. Oh,
Okay, let's start cleaning up, okay? Uh, get the spilled bottles, broken glass, stuff like that. Aisle three has medical supplies. Okay, it's okay. Now, right, easy, champ, come on. You can't keep crying like this, pal. Come on. You're gonna hurt yourself. Come on, you all right? I want mommy. All right, I know you got it, okay? Let's try to breathe, okay? I've seen him suck his thumb like this since he was two years old. He's in shock. I think we all are. You haven't met Amanda Dumtree. She's new in town as of this semester. Teaches third grade and the special ed kids now that Mosher's retired. She's wonderful. The kids love her. And uh, David's an artist. He does movie posters and such. Ooh, and me? Lord, I'm babbling away like some old biddy at a tea party. My nerves are jangled, I guess. Boy, settle down. How is he? That's a lot. We're gonna get him some aspirin. Aisle three. Okay. Thanks. How's Dan? Oh, he's no stop breathing. He's calming out. Somebody gave him a Valium. Can't believe the way he ran in here. Never seen him like that. I need something to cover my boy up. Got any blankets? Furniture pads, loading dock. I'm gonna keep checking on people. If you need anything, just holler. You bet. Sally, you mind? Oh, I'd love to. I really should help him clean up. I'll take him. Okay. Daddy, don't go. No, I'll be gone two seconds, big Bill. Come on, I'll get your blanket. Mrs. Rupler's here, and uh, so is Mrs. Turner. I'll be close by, okay? Don't worry. Not far. Wanna lie down? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as it blows away, we can walk out of here safe and free, but we have to be smart about it. Yeah. First thing we need to do is, is keep our wits about us and find out what's happening. Well, how are we gonna do that, my man? We've got no phone signals. Right. We've got no radio. Yeah. I'm sure they're working on those problems as we speak. It stands to reason that restoring communications would be their problem. Obvious that we're we're in some kind of natural disaster here. Ain't nothing obvious about this some bitch from where I sit. There ain't nothing natural about it either. That's right. No. It's judgment day, and it's come round at last. There is nothing more obvious or natural than that. Oh, fuck me. You've done that to yourself by a life of sin and dissolution. Check it out. No, no, I have to turn the generator off. I was backing up. Nobody else heard that sound? What sound? I don't know. Like a uh, weird noise back there in the dark. Like something was like pressing against the door. 
Did you hear it before the lights went out or uh, after? No, only after. After, but look, I heard it, okay? Well, he's calling you a liar. That's what it sounds like. No, 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 no. no. Don't, now, don't be that away, Mr. Drake. You had a scare, no doubt. What say we all go check it out? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Man, that's pretty rank in here. Myron, go check it out. All right. Mm. Go on, fire it up. <laughs> All right, shut it off. Oh, bro, don't that stink. Something's got the exhaust vent plugged up from the outside. You get it running long enough to raise that door a little, I'll go out and clear whatever's blocking it. Oh, you can't do that. Why not? It's an electric door, right? Well, yeah, but it may not be wise to send him out there. Okay, I'll do it. No, look, it's not about who goes out there. What, don't you think I can do it? Hey, I want to go. It was my idea. Well, wait, wait, just stop, okay? Jim, right? Mm -hmm. Myron? You guys are, you, well, you don't seem to understand. Or you're trying real hard not to. This isn't an ordinary mist, okay? You, you open that door and something gets in here. Like what? Well, like whatever made, made that noise I heard. Are you guys being willfully dense? Mr. Drayton, you're gonna pardon me, but I'm not convinced that you heard anything. I mean, we're not hearing anything now, right? Anybody? See? <laughs> now, I know. I know. You're a, you're a big shot artist with connections in New York and Hollywood and all like that, but that don't make you better than anybody else, not in my book. Hey, I didn't say that. Nor do I like being talked down to or called stupid by a guy who went to college just because he's got the jitters. Fellas, it doesn't even matter about the generator. The food will keep without it. Kid, I'm going to start the motor. You raise the door, and you yell out when you got enough room. Yeah. Okay, good. Wait! This is, you guys gonna let this kid risk his life over a generator? It doesn't even matter. Would you just shut the fuck up already? Norm, listen, Mr. Drayton, I tell you what. The next time you got something to say, you count your teeth. Because I'm sick to death of your bullshit. All right? Come on, Myron. This is crazy. Leave him be. Let's get this thing running. What, am I impugning their manhood or something? Listen, they've lost their sense of proportion. What's going on here? Out there in the market, they were scared and confused. In here, there's a problem they can solve. So we're goddamn gonna solve it. Ready, kid? Let's rock. Norm, come on. Don't, man. It's a mistake. Pussy. So, any boogeyman? <laughs> Pretty scary, ain't it, Norm? Yeah, right. <laughs> Norm? Norm? What the fuck? Ah, get it off! Get it off! Get this crazy thing off me! Get it off! Help me! Help me! Help me! Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm sorry. How the, how the hell was I supposed to know what you meant? You said you heard something. How was I supposed to know what you meant? You should have said what you meant better. I don't know. I thought maybe it was a big bird or something. You got that kid killed. Did you get a good look at it, huh? Did you get a good look at what you did? You did? Don't hit him anymore! Don't you solve to. anything! Asshole, you got that kid killed! And I got his fucking butt on me! Duh! Mm. Ah. Okay. I'm done. Next. Kill the generator. That's the first thing. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, oh God. I'm I'm sorry about the kid. Oh God, oh God, oh God. We ought to get out of here. <laughs> Man, we didn't twist his arm. Yeah, he's a fucking kid. He's supposed to be stupid. What's your excuse, huh? Get out of here. Go back in the market. Stay by the door. Don't say anything to anybody. Not yet. David, you got a little light here? We have to tell them. If we're in the market, we have to stop them going outside. They won't believe us. They have to. I'm not sure I believe it. I was here. Well, what we saw was impossible. You know that, don't you? Anyone? What do we say? How do we convince them? Holly, what the hell were those tentacles even attached to? Oh, my God. Are, are you all right? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my blood. I'm fine. Well, what the hell happened? I'll explain. Give me a minute, okay? I need to deal with some first. 
Please, I got to. Can't let Billy see him like this. He's scared enough. Just give me a minute. I'll keep him distracted. Okay? Okay. Hey, look. I'm sorry about Norm. Me too. I mean, I ain't making excuses. I'm just saying. Look, we need to tell people. No need to see how it went down or anything like that. But, uh, we're in the deep shit here. People need to know. What about the out-of-towners? You got plenty of them in the store. Where do we even start? Brent Norton? A windbag? He's an important attorney in New York. That fella could be on the bench one day. He comes on for people in this town or, or anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Do it quick, David. We gotta discuss how we're gonna stop that thing getting in here. Oh, wait, what do you mean getting in? You shut the loading door. Yeah, but the entire front of this store is plate glass. Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, um, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just not that stupid. I mean, what do you take me for? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. It's, it's pretty tasteless using what's happening here to try to make me look like an idiot. No, no, that's not what's going on here. Look, I gotta come back to the loading dock, okay? I'll show you blood, like a chunk of tentacle on the, on, on the floor. No. No? What do you mean, no? Uh, no. We got uh, real problems to deal with here, and... Uh, this uh, pathetic attempt at a joke has gone far enough. Mr. Norton, what reason could we possibly have? Oh, please, please! This is payback for the lawsuit that I filed against him last year, and you guys are backing him up. So winning wasn't enough, huh? You wanted to humiliate me some more, right? Show me a rubber snake while these these hicks stand around laughing our asses. Hey, hey, what are you calling a hick? Mr. Norton! I swear, you have got us all wrong. You're not too crazy about, um... Out of town, is, are you? I only spend my money and I pay my taxes here, and I've seen you talking behind my back. How you all stick together? Well, don't I feel foolish? I actually thought you were being kind to me today. Well, thanks for setting me straight. And I'm glad that tree fell on your bow house. You know that? Glad. Smashed it in pretty good, didn't it? Fantastic. Now all of y'all, just stay out of my I way. I know you're scared. I'm scared, too. But lives are at stake around here. David, okay? I... My son's life. Now, I need you. Brent, please, get your head out of your ass. All right? I'll drag you back there if I have to. Come, Come here. here. David, David get, your, get, you. get your goddamn hands off of me! Hey! I'll God sue your ass again! Sue your ass, and this time you'll go to jail. This man assaulted me. He assaulted me. You were witness to it. This man crazy. He's crazy. No. He isn't. I, I wish he was, but he isn't. Everyone in the store, you want to come back here? There's something you need to hear. It concerns you all. Okay? No, wait, 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 wait. I don't know what you people think you're doing. You're drinking? For Christ's sake, Ollie. Do you want me to report to you? You want to lose your job? Look, I'm going to be taking down names, starting with you. And I am prepared to file a police report. Fine, but write down your names. I will. And in the meantime, shut the fuck up and listen. This is Mr. David Drayton. He, okay, he needs to hear, to hear what he's got to say if you're thinking about leaving. Yeah, with the police, all right? Listen, don't be scared. It's okay. <sighs> okay? This is how it is. Now, uh, I don't know what this mist is, but there are things in it and they're dangerous, like Dan said. That's right. That's exactly right. What kind of thing? 
I never saw it. It happened too fast. I got knocked down. Five of us went back in the loading dock. It was Jim, Myron, Ollie, me, Norm, the bag boy. We opened the door Norm? so Norm could go out and clear the vent for the generator. And something came out of the mist and took him. Took him? What do you mean? Killed him. I mean, dragged him off. Now, guys, I don't know what these things are. All we saw were tentacles. <laughs> tentacles, he says. Tentacles from Planet X. Uh, it's a lie, you know. I mean, all these people do is just lie each other up. It's a pile of shit. Of course, it's a lie. Of course, it's a lie. It's lunacy. From the look of it, the tentacles are coming out of the beer cans. All right, uh, Bud, don't take our word for it. Go look. It appears we may have a problem of some magnitude here. can be saved, can't they? Yes, some can be brought to heaven's holy gates through your grace. I have to believe that, though I know most will swim in the lake of fire forever. If I can save a few, even one, then my life will have counted for something. I will have pulled my weight. I will have earned my place at your side. I will have served the purpose here on this earth. Hello? I just need to use the bathroom. Oh. Okay, well then, have at it. Ma'am, I, I just want you to know that it's okay being scared, I mean. And, well, if you need a friend, you know, someone to talk to. I have a friend. God, up above. I talk to him every day. Don't you condescend to me. I'm sorry? Not ever. You don't mock me. That's not what I was doing. <laughs> Look. Well, I tell you what. The day I need a friend like you, I'll just have myself a little squat and shit one out. <sighs> maybe you do believe this. Uh, maybe they're not lies. They're uh, delusions, whatever. Uh, the fact remains. The evidence here is flimsy. It's bordering on ludicrous. Hey, this isn't a courtroom. 
not arguing a case, and you're doing nothing but damage talking the way you And are. you can throw as much cow's blood around the loading dock as you want to. You still haven't fooled anyone. Leave it alone, David. You can't convince some people there's a fire even when their hair is burning. Denial is a powerful thing. Well, keep talking. I'll have no part of it, nor would any thinking person. Keep thinking, Mr. Lawyer. There's no defense against the will of God. There's no court of appeals in hell. There's no defense here either. Not even with all the fertilizer in the world. Not even if you stack it as high as you can. It's still just bags of shit, isn't it? Uh, those of you who want to discuss this thing rationally to find a means of rescue are welcome to join me. Those who want to stack dog food, knock yourselves out. We got those windows taped up as best we could. It should help. Yeah, I think so. Duct tape and dog food bags. That bad? It's not good. There's none so blind as those who will not see. Open your eyes. Let the scales fall away. This has all been written. Revelations, chapter 15. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no one could enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Well, what are you saying? What are you proposing? That we all prepare to meet our maker. Oh, prepare to meet shit. Lady, your tongue must be hung in the middle so that it can waggle at no, both ends. The end time has come. Not in flames, but in mist. Come here. Easy. How about if your ass prepares to meet my size 10 work boot? How about that? Hey, there's no call for that. Uh, Myron, please calm your friend down. I'm trying to save your soul, you stupid man. Doubters will doubt till the end. Okay. No, A I'm monstrosity sorry. I'm sorry. did pull that poor boy away. Things in the mist. Do you doubt? Do you? Then go out. Go out and say how do you do. Shut up, lady. For God's sakes. Look, you'll have to stop now. You're scaring the children. They should be scared. Oh, yes. They should. Their beautiful, pure little minds have been corrupted with lies. Lies. All this talk of a modern god. Or no god there is one god the god of the israelites and he is a stern and vengeful god and we have been mocking him far too long and now he demands retribution in blood it is time to declare yourselves take sides the saved and the damned read the good book it calls for expiation blood uh, what blood Little Normie was first, and now God calls the rest of us. The bill is due. It must be paid. As, as Abraham prepared to sacrifice his only son to prove his love for God, so enough. <laughs> Another down payment. A few more pennies in the jar. Now that's nice. See, I can't smack her, but it's OK for you. I, I'm sorry, everybody, but this lady's perspective is a little too Old Testament for my taste. It'll come for you. Maybe tonight, when darkness comes. They'll come tonight. And they'll take someone else. See if they don't. And when they do, you will cry to God. And you will beg Mother Carmody to show you the way. That's fine. But until then, if you don't shut up, Wrap this tape around your mouth. You just try it, Ollie Weeks. And you, bitch. You hit me again. If you dare. You'll be on your knees to me before this is through. Those of you who aren't local should know that Mrs. Carmody is known in town for being unstable. <laughs> oh, shit. What was your first clue? Hi. What's up, little dude? How come your friends don't come get us? They got tanks and stuff, right? Why can't you just call them? Phones don't work. But don't you got, like, a radio? Hey, champ, what's going on? 
I want their friends to come rescue us. What if they could, pal? They're stuck here just like us. But... Shh. Now, guys, we could use a hand over there. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Troop, pop your asses. All right? I don't like that scary lady. Oh, man. I don't either. But you know what? Maybe she's scared, too. You think? Molly's okay. Really? Sorry about the time you was bad to her. Oh, hey. Mommy loves you very much. And I bet she's fine. And I promise you, I'm gonna do everything I can to get us back to her. Okay? So we can use the, uh, the charcoal fluid and the mops to make torches, and we got knives and stuff, God knows. This may be a silly question, bud, but do you happen to have a gun in the store? Here? No. Please, this, this isn't Los Angeles. I've got a shotgun in my truck. I could try for it if you want. Oh, God, I don't think that'd be a good idea, Mr. Cornell. Hold on. This gun, um, my husband's idea. He's away on business a lot. It's not even loaded. Ain't much use unloaded, ma'am. Uh, You know how to use that? Well, I shot it once on a pistol range. Hit the target a few times. So, we got a gun. Anybody know how to shoot it? Well, I mean. I do. You? Oh, Holly, please. Done some target shooting. State champion in 94. Hey, grab no, you're crazy. Don't let, go. let us pass. Let us pass, please. Let's just talk this thing through. We have, and we made our decision. We're leaving. Hey, Mr. Mackey's gonna barbecue some chicken on the gas grill. Why don't we just sit down and what, just... let you keep on talking? No, I've been in far too many courtrooms to fall for that. You've already psyched out half a dozen of my people already. Your people? What kind of talk is that? They are people. That's all. Now, now listen, everyone. We are experiencing some kind of disaster. I don't know whether it's man-made or natural, but I do know that it's definitely not supernatural or biblical and no offense mrs carmody but the only way we're going to help ourselves is to seek rescue we're going out brent look i'm not discussing this any further i know i just want to ask a favor you tie this around your waist or four it'll let us know you got at least 300 feet i'll do it are you throwing in with them me? No, thanks. I think your man there is a little too tightly wound. We're gonna get somebody killed. But I'm thinking we could use that shotgun of yours. I saw where you parked when I pulled in. Red pickup, right? Far entrance. Son, you got brass balls. The shells are in the glove compartment. Drive it back. Mm. Just see the paying out this line. Lines up. I'll cut her loose, just so you understand. Yeah. Sure, there's no way I can talk you out of this. David, there's nothing out there. Nothing in the mist. What if you're wrong? Then I guess the joke would be on me. After all. We're gonna send back help. You'll die out there, all of you. Hey, crazy lady, I believe in God too. I just don't think he's the bloodthirsty asshole you make him out to be. Well, you, you take that up with the devil when you run into him. You just chat it over at your leisure. Strike out for the center town. Keep it loose.
Look. What's going? You're doing good. How's it going with these work lights? I'm getting them rigged up, all right. Yeah, check it out. All right, all right, save it, save it. Well, these batteries ain't topped up. If you turn the lights on, it's gonna drain them quick. How oh, quick? Five minutes, maybe ten. Yeah, if that. Okay. Emergencies only. Something gets in the store. Sally, I'm sorry, really. I thought I'd come in and say hi. You didn't see how you're holding up. Hi. Hi. Barely. How about you? I'm worried about my folks, I guess. You know, they live up on Shoreham Road. It's, it's less than five miles from here. Oh, how about yours? Oh, they're out of town right now. They're at my aunt's in Boston, so. That's lucky. That means they're okay. I hope so. So, how soon are you shipping out? Uh, a couple weeks. Scared about going over there? Yeah. Hey, Wayne. Hmm? How come you never asked me out? I've been flirted all through high school. I know you like me. <laughs> so, how come? Stupid, I guess. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Don't be, I just... I just didn't really want it to happen like this, you know? Some shitty locker room at work. Can we just stay in here a while, then? You and me? The parking lot lamps turned on. Well, that timer must be a different than the supply. Maybe we could tie into them somehow. Get some electricity in here. Gotta be walking out the door.
dogs? Not like any I've ever seen. They came out of the smoke, locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, even as the scorpions of the earth.
is right. She said that it would happen like this. She said that they would come at night. She told us someone would die. I hate that I have to worry. You have kids? No. I always wanted to, but things haven't been working out. Right now, I'm thinking maybe that's for the best. I saw creatures fly into a store tonight that shouldn't exist. Is that you? Yeah, pal, how you doing? It's bad. It's bad. I didn't know anything could hurt like this. If, if, you, if you guys can't help me, you, you gotta end it, okay? Molly's got that gun, right? Right? No. Uh, no way. You oh. can't fuck with me on this road. Not with me like this. I'll do it. Just give me the gun. I'm not there yet, Please. Okay? John, listen. Now, we're gonna work something out. I just need you to hang in a little longer, okay? Can you do that? Let's do it. Last of those bugs went away about four. Dawn's coming. What's on your mind? It's Joe. You'll get him on some serious antibiotics. He's gonna die of infection. Plus, he needs painkillers in the worst way. Uh, uh, all we got here is the liquor and aspirin. You, you think about going to the pharmacy next door? Irene Rappler says they've got silverdine. You know, the stuff they use in burn wards. She knows where they keep it. Let's slow down. You can't actually be thinking of doing this. I'm also thinking beyond that. You have to get out of here. I mean, permanently. Why? We got plenty to eat. Now, what happens when one of those things decides to break through this window? We're talking one of the big ones, like the one that killed an arm. Yeah, the, the flaming torch idea didn't work so well, did it? We almost burned the goddamn store down. It's Hattie. Gently now, gently. One, two, three.
don't know how long she was there like that. Lying there next to us. How about she was sleeping? I got my four-wheel drive. It's out there. Y you're talking about leaving? Well, we should hit the pharmacy first. Got to bring back supplies for the injured. I mean, if we don't, Joe Eagleton's going to die. We can't let that happen. But after that... Look, my Land Cruiser can hold eight people. I say we drive south as far as the fuel takes us and try to get clear of this mist. That's it? That's the plan? That's what I got. No, you can't mean it. Not after what happened to Norton and his group. No, no, no. Amanda, think. Norton got over 200 feet from this store. That's how much rope played out. I'm parked to half that distance from here. But who knows how far this mist has spread? It could be the entire eastern seaboard. Yeah, it, it could be the whole world, for all we know. It wouldn't make us any less dead. No, would it? We have one gun. How many rounds? We got ten left. Ten rounds, Jesus. Okay, so ten. Want another reason to get the hell out of here? I'll give you the best one. Her. Mrs. Carmody. She's our very own Jim Jones. I'd like to leave before people start drinking the Kool-Aid. He's right. Like your people get, the better she's gonna look. No, I don't buy that. It's obvious she's nuts. Look, a few people, maybe, but... No, I count four. She's preaching to him right now. By noon, she'll have four more. By tomorrow night, when those things come back, she'll have a congregation, and then we can start worrying about who she's gonna sacrifice to make it all better. Hmm? You, Amanda? My little boy. He's right. You don't have much faith in humanity, do you? None whatsoever. I can't accept that. People are basically good, decent, my God, David, we're a civilized society. Sure, as long as the machines are working and you can dial 911, but you take those things away, you throw people in the dark, you scare the shit out of them. No more rules. You'll see how primitive they get. You scare people badly enough. You can get them to do anything. They'll turn to whoever promises a solution. Or whatever. Ollie, please, back me up here. I wish I could. As a species, we're fundamentally insane. Put more than two of us in a room, we pick sides and start dreaming up reasons to kill one another. Why do you think we invented politics and religion? Oh, Jesus, that's just wrong. Look, nobody has to decide anything now, okay? First things first. The pharmacy. That'll be our test run. It's all right, Big Bill. I'll bring you back some comic books. I don't want them. I want you to stay here. I won't be going long. Just, just next door. But you'll be safe. Daddy, Daddy, there are things out there. There are things. Yeah, there's a lot less of them in the daytime. They'll wait. They'll wait in the mist where you can't see them, and then when you go and can't get back in. They'll come and eat you up. <laughs> Daddy, don't go. <laughs> I'll be back. Big Bill, I promise. I'll be back and then I'm going to take you home. All right? Together, we're going home. If something happens, anything at all, you can run. You get your ass back in here, for your boy's sake. Something happens to me, I want you to take care of Billy as best as you can. As long as you can. Land Cruiser is yours now. You get him out of here. You just keep driving. Where do you think you're going, Mr. David Drayton? Are you so anxious to make your boy an orphan? My boy is no concern of yours. Listen up. We're going to the pharmacy. We're gonna bring back some supplies. Also, there may be people trapped over there who need help. Listen, folks, listen. We're not gonna take any chances. If there's any trouble, we'll come straight back here to the supermarket. And bring the fiends of hell down on our heads, thank you. She's right. You'll make them notice us. You'll make them come. Why can't you just leave well enough alone? Lady, this what you call well enough? You wanna stop us? 
You better explain to Bobby here why we're not bringing painkillers and medicine back for his brother. Well, I'm going, even if I have to go alone. You'll die out there, young man. You'll walk out that door and be torn to shreds, and then your hellbound pride will have them come get the rest of us. Yes, they'll come back for all of us, just like this good lady said. Do you want that to happen, people? No! 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 no. Well, it is this kind of hubris that brought the wrath of God in the first place. This kind of pride and defiance of the... Oh. Shut up, you miserable buzzard! You old bitch! No, 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 no. Oh. Owning people who piss you off is perfectly okay. They do it in the Bible, don't they? And I got lots of peas. David, please, if you want to go, now's the time. How about it, Army? Any help from the armed forces? I'll go. Jim Grandin. Mm. I had you in school, didn't I? Yes, sir, me and my sister Pauline. A pair of underachievers. After you, Jim. Yes, ma'am. Shit. Is that it? That's everybody. Everybody that's going. Yeah. Okay. Single file. One by one, all right? Let's get this thing over with. Something got in. Let's just gotta get what we need. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's do that. The meds are over at the end there, in the cubicle. That silver thing. It's over behind David in the fridge. Check there. Silver D. Got it. Good. Ollie, what are we looking for? Penicillin. Yeah. Any strong antibiotics. Yeah. Pain meds or Vicodin or Oxycontin. Shh. Oxycontin. Guys, hurry it up. I hear something. What? Something fucking weird. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Look, this 
it's another one. Oh my god. No, no, no. Oh no, no. Guys, let's get out of here now. and profanities of such nightmare proportions. And for the evil, 
lurking spirit and all oh. these evil people with green oh, was I out? You lost the day. What? You just came over here, laid down, and went to sleep. Oh, just passed out, more like it. Just shut down for a while. Sorry. That's Joe. Yeah, Joe died of his burns while you were asleep. It was just too late. I told you God, I thought I was dreaming her voice. No dream. She's getting people whipped up. That poor girl is dead. And that boy is burnt in the back room. She's got him believing she's a psychic. She has a direct line with God. Why wouldn't they? The woman never shuts up. Like those speeches Castro used to make. Molly says you're thinking of leaving. I'm in. No. Sorry. Hey, come on. You saw what happened to Bobby. Mike, I won't do that again. I won't be responsible. You might want to reconsider that. What, 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 will, what will keep these evils, these abominations at bay? What will keep them away? The rock will not hide them. The dead tree gives no shelter. What will end it? Let me hear it. Expiation! So what are we talking about? Expiation! Expiation! Welcome to Sesame Street. Today's word is expiation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That boy hasn't been right since the pharmacy. His mind's just snapped. Gone. It hasn't even been two days. Not even two days. I'm not spending the rest of my life here, I tell you what. Uh, I can quietly gather up some bags of groceries and, and hide them up at the, one of the check stands by the door. It was your idea. It's your vehicle. Be your call. I'd rather die out there trying than in here waiting. I want some idea of what we're up against. I want to know what this mist is. I want to talk to the soldiers. Soldiers? What's that going to do? You heard what that MP said at the pharmacy. David, I'm not even sure I knew he was talking. The situation was insane. He said he was sorry. Wasn't that the word he used, sorry? That's right. He said it was their fault, right? What, what did he mean by that? Well, that's what we're going to find out. I mean, stay with me, please. Seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, it is done, it is done. And there were voices and lightning and thunders and a great earthquake, such as we've not seen. What? Where's your friends? I ain't seen them. Not that big a store. It's kind of hard to lose. I ain't seen them. I said, look like the keeper. What do you want from me? What do you know about this mist? I don't know nothing. I got nothing to do with it. That's not what the MP said in the pharmacy before the spiders came out of his skin. And not in the store. The only place we haven't looked is the loading dock. Because you know, you saw the good face of God tonight, yes? Tell us, here is an old man who has seen, and he has seen. And I want to save you. I want to walk with you into my father's hands. Morales, Donaldson, guys. It's the only place they can be. They said they would do it, and I just, I told them what the MP said at the pharmacy, and they swore they'd do it. I just, I didn't think they would. Oh, Jesus. It's the Arrowhead Project, isn't it? This mist. It's some kind of what? Military fuck up? What were you guys messing with up there, huh? We got you now, you sorry son of a bitch! It was them! It was them what dug it to us! It was them! What brung down the final wrath upon us! Those two peckerwoods that he's been with this whole time, they hung themselves in the back because they knew. What? They knew it all along. No, oh, he's crazy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Get on your knees! They heard it, too. They heard it, too, didn't you, all of you? All about the Arrowhead Project and all that secret shit up on the mountain. That's what brung it down on us. That's what brung down the wrath of God. Oh. Private Jessup. 
It wasn't me. I'm just, I'm, I'm stationed up there. I'm not responsible. Bullshit. Hell, I'm a local. Most of you people know me, honey. Ow! Stop your chicken shit whining, <coughs> or I will cut your puling tongue out. No, you tell us. <coughs> tell us. Look, look, okay, okay. I heard stuff. Stuff. Yes, we all heard stuff. Yeah. Like, uh, how they, um, how they thought that there were other dimensions, you know, other, other worlds all around us, and how they wanted to try and make, um, a, a window, you know, so they could look through and see what's on the other side. Well, maybe your window turned out to be a door, no, didn't yeah. it? Not mine, those yeah, scientists! Yeah, yeah. Oh, the scientists! Yes, the yes, scientists! The scientists. They, 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 they must have ripped a hole open by accident. This other world came spilling through to ours. That's what Donaldson was saying to me right before he killed himself. I didn't understand the half of it. It ain't my fault. Oh! Ain't his fault. No, no, no. no. Ain't nothing ever anybody's fault but he denies it he points the finger this judas in our midst judas! you you don't you know by now don't you know the truth we are being punished for what for going against the will of God, for going against his forbidden rules of old, walking on the moon, yes, yes, or, or splitting his atoms, or, 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 or stem cells and abortions, and destroying the secrets of life that only God above has any right to. Yes, I know, it is true. The judgment is being brought down upon us. The fiends of hell, you see, they are let loose. And Star Wormwood blazes. And it is his fault. Yes, no. it is your fault. No, it is not my fault. Yes, it is. No. You did it. it. Be sick in the eye of the Almighty. Yes, it is. No. Beast will leave us alone tonight. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll just have to wait and see. Sorry I left you, Ben. We'll never.
Sure. Is in the check stand number two, five bags. We can grab them and get that door in. Okay. My car's parked in the center lane of the parking lot far end. Whoever gets there first, open up both doors. I'm a little piling as fast as we can, okay? Let's go. Stealing food now? Going out now, Mrs. Carmody. Please stand aside. You can't go out. I won't allow it. Won't allow it? It's against God's will. Don't you know that by now? Haven't I proven myself again and again and again? Haven't I shown that I am his vessel. What's the matter with you? Don't you believe in God? No one's interfered with you. All we're asking for is the same privilege. You heard him. It is these people who brought this upon us. They people who refuse to bend to the will of God and claim it privilege. Sinners and pride. Yes, haughty, privileged. They mock us, they mock our, our God, our faith, our values, our very lifestyle. They mock our humility and our piousness. They piss on us and laugh. It's from them. The blood of human sacrifice must come from them. The blood of expiation. You try it. Fucking try it! Come on! We want the boy. You we get want back. the boy! No, you, give us your you get back! Come on, get out! Killed her. Thank you, Holly. Let's go. Get that ice machine out of the way, please. You Daddy. killed her. You murdered her. I wouldn't have shot her, Dave. Not if there'd been any other way. That's why is that thing? Okay. Okay, then.
All the way down. Bert. Bud. Myron. Ambrose. I'm not hitting a broken house. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we gotta go. Come on, come on. They're lost. Oh. Oh. Can they see us? I'm just 
Gave it a good shot. Nobody can say we didn't. Nope. Nobody can say that.
that's uh... Come on! Come on! 